Every year, hundreds of thousands of migrants attempt to cross the Mediterranean Sea to Europe. The crossing is dangerous. So far in 2016, more than 3,600 people who set out for Europe never made it. When tragedy strikes, forensic pathologists like Cristina Cataneo attempt to preserve the razor-thin hope that the identities of those who died aren't lost to the sea. This is the largest mass disaster that has ever happened or since the, the, after the Second World War. It's the largest humanitarian crisis as, as concerns dead, unidentified uh, bodies. The victim Cataneo's team is unloading a simply numbered as body bag number 421. It joins hundreds of other bodies under a tent acting as a temporary morgue. The body in bag 421 belonged to a young man, one of hundreds who drowned a few dozen miles off the coast of Libya in April 2015. It was one of the deadliest migrant disasters in the Mediterranean in recent years. Only 28 people survived the sinking of a fishing boat packed with hundreds of people. These bodies fall into a limbo because the national law doesn't oblige prosecutors to identify all the victims or to put into act all activities that are necessary to identify them. And this means that um, these bodies become nobody's business. Cataneo's team expects the volunteers will eventually analyze as many as 900 bodies from the wreck. So far, all of the victims have been men and boys, mostly between the ages of 12 and 27. After they gather as many clues as possible, the body from bag 421 is given a serial number and sealed in a metal coffin. In December, the second stage of the process will begin, contacting relatives of those who had identification on them and searching for others who are looking for missing relatives. Walter Ratliff, The Associated Press.